Hi, this is Jerry Capote of WallDecalBusiness.com. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, the Roland GX Cutter to cut a piece of vinyl paper as opposed to the whole roll. And that requires a different selection on your rolling cutter. So let's get started. Okay. So what I'm going to do is place this little piece, which by the way, it's, these pieces are just extras from other um, designs that I created, other decals, and they were left over. And sometimes they're good to use because you get to use them, make something out of it, and it will work, you know, just fine. So um, I'm placing this little piece right in here. And actually what I'm doing is I'm placing them where you see the the white little strips. You, uh, the rollers always have to end where the white strips, so anywhere the white strip is, that's where you can place your roller. Anywhere outside the white strip, it's not gonna work. In fact, the, uh, the software will tell you you're outside the cutting area. So I'm gonna use the white strips. I, I have to find a place where it will end with the white and end with the white. So this looks pretty good right here. So I'll place that right here and place this roller over here. And try to place it all the way to the end. Good, and make sure they're nicely aligned. Very good. And I'm gonna lock it in place and I'm gonna boot up my rolling cutter let that start up it takes just a second now i'm using a piece so the selection that i'm going to do for the sheet uh, is going to be piece as opposed to row which is the default selection uh, we've done that before in other videos using the row selection to choose the, the right uh, sheet type i'm going to use the up and down arrows right here and i'm just going to find piece and there it is it says piece for the piece of roll and I'm going to press enter and what it's going to do, it's going to do something a little different. What it's actually going to do, it's going to measure the area uh, between the rolls plus it's going to take it all the way to the end and then bring it back all the way to measure the length of this piece of vinyl. And it'll bring it all the way to the end and that's it. And it'll give me a measurement in millimeters and I'm not too concerned about that. I more or less figured that this, this piece should work for my design so i'm going to press origin because when i send the cut i want to make sure that it starts right there and nowhere else i want it i want to take advantage of my piece of uh, vinyl decal here so that looks good now i need to go to the software part so let's do that and so here's the design and i created this design using adobe illustrator and this is the cs2 version and as you can see, it's uh, ready to be outputted to the Rolling Cut Studio. I have my little plugin uh, showing that. So I'm going to click on this output button. It's going to shoot it over to Rolling Cut Studio. And you'll notice that the design is actually sticking out. That's because we need to landscape it. And we're going to go to File, Cutting Setup. And I'm going to click on the Landscape option. Then I'm going to go into Properties and get the information from the machine and that's the information that the uh, that the machine uh took the uh, measurements the machine took and it's uh so you can see we have the width and the length of that uh, vinyl paper so i'm going to click on okay and click on okay again and you can see it's landscape now it's going to fit on that sheet of paper and um so it's ready uh, you, you should also notice that uh, the paper is long enough. Had this paper uh, not been long enough, it, it would have maybe cut off around here or somewhere else. And it's just an indica indication that you probably need to uh, put another piece of uh, vinyl paper on the machine or use a whole roll and uh, so you can get uh, the whole design cut within the right space. So that's it. It's ready. So the next step is to send the design to the cutter and that's it. You're ready to go. So I hope that helps. I'm going to continue creating instructional videos. So come by my website at walldecalbusiness.com. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video.